it, Han Shido to me has a lot to do with self-discipline, being in control of the situation, not trying to make a bloody mess out of your opponent, but it has to do with reasoning because Han Shido to me has to do with intelligence. It has to do with following civil law because if we don't know law, then we can't be civil. You know, civility is Han Shido. Han Shido is a lot of things, and you have to remember that Han Shido is just a signet. It is a name. And hunch means the thickest part of the thigh, the buttocks, the hip, because this is where most of my physics is applied. Let's say you have a gun and it's unloaded. Try to install fear into your opponent by saying this gun is loaded even though it's not. See, a lot of people who train in the martial arts don't have the four components that enable them to have the ammunition necessary to make what they know effective. effective. So this is the problem. The problem is, is that so many people are being taught motion and movement and systematic uh, ways of doing things that when it comes to a real situation, they don't have the ammunition. The Hanshido has the four components, which is the ammunition that I was taught years and years ago that unfortunately is not being taught today. Bruce Lee even said that, which was interesting. The hardest thing to do with martial arts is to be sincere with yourself, expressing yourself. Um, you can make up a whole lot of things, you can pretend you're somebody you're not, but to really know who you are and to take your experiences and create your own way, to me, is the most fascinating portion of the martial arts. And I don't think I'm better than anybody else because I'm not. I'm just like anyone else. Uh, it is a combination of many different styles, many different forms from many different people. Uh, but what makes Hanchido different is just the name itself. That's uh, It's just who I am. I am Hanchido. In other words, the four components which we'll get to later. Let me answer your first question though about Hanchido itself. It is defensive. However, there's a lot of offensive motions and moves to it as well. But, for example, I had a fight one a long time ago with this guy named Ernie who was a biker and he kept pressuring me to fight until finally I gave in because he was so pushy about it. Well, to make a long story short, all I did was move out of the way. You know, when he'd go to swing at me, I'd move. If he'd go to kick at me, I'd move. Um, I'd push him or shove him, and then at the same time, I would be talking to him, saying, Ernie, please, you know, stop. Stop. Let's, let's not do this anymore. Well, by that time, there was like 40, 50, maybe even 60 people standing there watching. And I disappointed them all because they thought they were going to see, you know, Bruce Lee in action or something like that, you know. But really, defense is not having to fight at all. It's taking complete control over a, a situation. You know, if you, if I was to have fought the same way he did with me, we'd be on the ground, we'd be uh, spurting blood, we would just be all over each other, we'd look sloppy. But the point being is this, I made a friend out of an enemy. And you can call it morals and ethics, which today, you know, people just want the tough part of things. You know, I'm the tough guy. But Hanshido is self-defense because what it shows is that you're in control.